I feel like every vlog lately I've <laughs> been getting ready, but this is just what we've been doing. So welcome back guys. Welcome to another vlog. I am about to get ready and meet Muff. If you guys don't know, Muff is my bestie and I'm about to go and meet her really quick. And I just want to put on some makeup or just sort of pull my stuff together and not do too much. I only have like a few minutes to get ready, but I was up editing this vlog that you guys are going to see before you see this one. I didn't give myself too much time to get ready, but I knew I would just throw something together. So here we are. Welcome back. Don't forget to subscribe. And this contour is too dark this is the best brow gel i have ever used in my life when i first started using it i was like i didn't get the hype but now refi did their big one with this brow gel and it comes with the brush i feel like you can't lose creating two-in-one three-in-one products you know people are all about convenience nowadays making our lives easier is the way to go and then i just let that dry for a second then i'll fill it in i'm using the fenty concealers and I just kind of layer them the day i'm just wearing this oversized puffer vest from amazon a snoo jumpsuit i always get questions about my crew socks they are from naker and i'm just gonna put on these new balance and then sunglasses are amazon i'm wearing my ysl hobo bag and just gold accessories <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, why? why was that the 
Wait, what did he say? You're so gorgeous, but it wouldn't matter anyways. <laughs> Look at that face in that corner. <laughs> I just like have y'all ever watched something uh oh why is it so wait okay crazy zoom have y'all ever watched something and you just get secondhand embarrassment like that's what it feels like for me it feels like secondhand embarrassment watching Chelsea and Jimmy because he's not giving anything he is not into it at all <laughs> This is so awkward. The secondhand embarrassment. Look at his face. Did I see that? He is so disappointed. He couldn't keep up the act anymore. He just had to relax for a second and he was like, I'm so happy. And not even to say that she is not an attractive girl, but he is devastated that he chose her because he chose her because she told him that she looked like Megan Fox. If you guys have watched Love is Blind, comment your thoughts down below. Y'all, every time an ad comes on, we're watching it on YouTube and every time an ad comes on, I'm pissed because why do you not have ad free? Oh, Chelsea. That's crazy. She's so mad at me for not having ad free YouTube. I YouTube pays me. I'm not about to pay them for ad free. They need to just give it to me. We're gonna watch these ads. Okay. I told you. I told you. He was evil. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Remember in my last recap when I said from here on, all he's gonna imagine in his head is Megan Fox every single time he thinks about Chelsea, talks to her, goes on a date with her. He's seeing Megan Fox in his head and this confirms it. All he thought about was Megan Fox. <laughs> yeah, and Ad is on. Every time I'm going back home to my ad free YouTube, y'all, I'm leaving. Every time an ad comes on, she stares at me. No, they're quick ads. They're quick. No, seriously, why does YouTube put a million ads on one video? Like, stop doing that. It's stressing me out. Quick little outfit change. I'm about to go to Leia's science fair at one of the high schools and i'm just wearing this outfit i've actually had it for a long time but these pants you guys have seen before they are from boohoo the brown wide legs i wore it with like a yellow crew neck and i'm just wearing it with a jacket that comes with it it's like a like sweater material outfit then i just have on this white tank top sunglasses are from amazon and i'm just wearing my why well, is a whole bag and then i'm just gonna wear my new balance that i had on earlier and yeah just need to show you guys really quick i'm not sure if i'm gonna vlog the science fair just because i mean I'm, there are gonna be like kids there and other adults and whatever else but i will either see you guys after um the science fair or i might just see you guys tomorrow i don't really know because i don't have much else that needs to be that's like vlog worthy i also just want to finish editing the vlog that i was editing earlier i'm almost done with it muff left and i'm so glad that i was able to hang out with her i feel like i just have really just been in isolation though i feel really good about like isolating and really just focusing on myself it feels good to spend time i missed her so much and i feel like all of us like we used to hang out so much and now all of us are kind of just like living our lives taking care of our kids you know really just like focusing on ourselves and i really love that for us so yeah like i said it just felt good to hang out today it's so funny and i've been thinking about this for the last couple of days but i um talked about it in a vlog let me turn this light off i talked about it in another vlog and basically i was telling you guys that i haven't really had much of an appetite and it's just been like a struggle for me to really like eat like my appetite has just not been there and 
someone commented and was saying like it may be time for a fast and it's so like funny because I've been like researching fast and um trying to kind of see like the best one for me um the Esther fast is one that keeps you know popping up for me and so I don't know it's interesting that I saw that comment because I feel like that was confirmation just given the fact that I have been thinking about it you know and like researching and sort of like preparing myself for the fast because it's needed and um yeah <laughs> I don't know that's all I'll say about it I'm not like a professional or anything or by any means I fasted before I've done the Daniel fast um years ago and yeah I'm just familiar with it but I don't really have like I'm, I'm not super knowledgeable so I don't want to give any like false information but I don't know anyway I'm done talking and I just wanted to kind of catch you guys up or tap back in because I haven't picked up the vlog camera since Muff was here earlier so anyway we're gonna go to the science fair I will see you guys later I think this is crooked It might still be crooked but whatever what's up you guys welcome to another day in the vlog this vlog i stopped filming days ago i'm just not picking the vlog camera back up but welcome to another day today is monday february the 26th i just finished up doing my makeup i was attempting to film a tiktok i don't think it came out right so what can we do but i have been up for hours doing stuff for hours i like organized my makeup i cleaned the house i deep cleaned my bathroom vacuumed the whole house like all three levels what else did i do i like took a shower got myself together and it is already almost 2 30 so i actually like i finished up everything pretty early but i was on the phone with muff for a while and yeah so anyway late start to the vlog but welcome back to another day like i said so i did everything that i needed to do i did some laundry and i just was like let me pick up the vlog camera and finish vlogging but i did this makeup look because i wanted to sit down and film a favorites video like my february favorites and i figured i could film that tonight and get that up for you guys tomorrow because i have not done a favorites video in so long like i haven't done any like themed videos in so long i've just been doing vlogs and i'm like i am tired of doing just vlogs i don't know it just takes me back to when i first really like started my channel i used to do all sorts of themed videos and post like different types of content on my channel and i feel like now i'm just vlogs 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 and i know everyone loves vlogs because you can just incorporate certain things into vlogs but i also feel like it's pretty cool when you can bring in like a different audience when you create like content around like one thing instead of you know people having to watch a full vlog to get to something that they want to know about you know what i mean so yeah that's where we are with this <laughs> so i figured i could sit down and do like a quick little favorites video show you guys some things that i am really really enjoying really loving lately i know i always get so many questions from you guys asking about like my sunglasses my makeup even body care products i get a lot of questions about and, like my favorite purses and things like that so or like favorite like clothing articles things like that so i figured i could sit down and do like a quick i might just keep this like beauty focused for the girls who for everyone who like wants to know my favorite beauty products and then maybe we can do like a separate one for like home stuff and so on and so forth so we'll get into that yesterday i posted that i made the brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso i think that's what it's called um starbucks it's from starbucks if you're boycotting starbucks then and you love that drink the one that i made yesterday was fire so i'm gonna film that i want to do like an instagram reel and also like um repurpose it and put it on my tiktok and then i'll do it on shorts also something else i've been doing i've been like really getting my house together for spring we have been getting beautiful weather like tomorrow's gonna be almost 70 degrees that is unheard of for chicago 70 degrees or almost 70 degrees in february if i'm being honest it's actually kind of scary but there isn't really much that i can do about that so i guess i should just enjoy it right yeah so tomorrow is going to be beautiful i'm thinking that i might vlog tomorrow because i really want to go to the museum 
Um, I think that would be a lot of fun and I could bring y'all along because Chicago has one of the if not the best art museum that I've ever been to. I think that's what I'll do either tomorrow or Wednesday. Either way whatever day it is I'll bring you guys along with me because I just I'm so excited. They have so many good exhibits going on right now and I just oh. <laughs> so anyway let me clean up my mess and go put this stuff back in my office and then we'll head downstairs because I also want to show you guys a couple things that I did like a couple switch ups that I did in the living room to sort of bring spring into this place and give you guys some ideas for your homes. It is so funny to me how wherever the sun beams in the house is where Milo lays. He loves sunbathing. <laughs> Poor boy, he needs his hair cut so badly. Another thing I wanted to show you guys yesterday. I decided I no longer liked the floor lamp in the corner over here. I ended up taking it all the way downstairs where this lamp originally was. I figured like this would be such a nice bedside table lamp. I love it so much. It looks <laughs> so good, especially at night. The bulb in there is like a little bit brighter, so it bright brightens up the room at night, but I really love it. I love how like clean and just simple my room looks. Don't mind the laundry that I got hanging there, but it just looks very clean and simple and doesn't like feel too, I mean, it didn't feel cluttered before just with the lamp, but I just like how simple it is. Can we just appreciate this little pond outside of my bedroom window? Here's my little outfit of the day. I'm just wearing my Skims pajama set. It's the white one. I also have this one in black that I'm always wearing. I want it to be cute and cozy today. I'm not, I don't have any big plans or anything. And this is just a very lightweight option. So yeah, here's my little outfit of the day. And then I'm gonna go downstairs cause I'm gonna make some coffee, but I'm gonna bring this with me cause I'm gonna film a TikTok. Y'all, I was just watching this TikTok video. I just saved it. So I'll link it down below for y'all so y'all can watch it. He's a 22 year old. He's basically talking about how he was in college somewhere. He, I can't remember the name of the school that he said he went to, but then he was at Harvard. He talked about like how he was so sure that, you know, having Harvard on your resume, he would end up with a good job, like out the gate, he was gonna be making really good money. He said doors were just closing, door after door after door after door was just closing. He said like, it's been like seven months that he's been unemployed since graduating college. I'll just link the video down below, but he just said something in the video. He said the suffering is just as important as the success. A lot of people miss the opportunity to really look at what it is that God is doing in your season of suffering um, or you know so what you consider suffering I, it's subjective I don't want to just put that on y'all but in your season where you feel like you feel like things just aren't going in the direction that you feel like they should go in you're in a bit of like confusion you're maybe lost or struggling financially which I will get into that in a completely separate video because there's just so much that I would like to say about it but your suffering is just as important as your success just hearing him say that was really it was just so moving these last few days i've been spending a lot of quality time with god and a lot has been revealed to me and hearing him say that it was like confirmation i feel like i've been getting confirmation every which way wherever i turn wherever i go i've been getting confirmation every single time i'm like wow god like i was just talking to you about this literally just having a moment last night so to hear him say that the suffering is just as important as the success that just it was it like resonated with me and um i don't know i just wanted to share that and i really wanted to get on camera and talk about this because i know that eventually i'm gonna look back on this video and i'm gonna remember this this moment i'm gonna think about this moment and it's gonna all make sense it's gonna all come together and i know that and it's so important he talked about this with um social media he with content creating he was like actually let me just pull his video well here let me just pull his video back up where we at saved here it is when people see you at a high stature and you're doing amazing things that you gotta be okay when they ask you what's next or how you're doing you gotta be okay with saying i don't know i'm just trusting god because we can sometimes be so shameful that we don't know when in reality if we was to make up the answer we will only be limiting god for what he really wants to do in our life 
So as much as I want to know, as much as I want God to hurry up and open the door, this social media thing makes us want to celebrate the moment God does it when the truth really happens in these moments of unknown. I've never been as consistent in my videos. I've never been as disciplined in my walk with God. And I've never had as much gratitude in my entire 22, about to be 23 years of living. So for the people that's waiting on God for something right now, remember this version of you. Because this version is the exact person that God wants to use to inspire generations after generations. Everybody can't handle this type of favor. That's why he chose you for it. And the suffering is as important as the success. Because we don't get to receive the grace of God without the suffering of Jesus. And sometimes we think that we can have the success first. When God is like, you got to go through the suffering first. It's the reason why we were created in his image. So hold on to that favor, friend. Don't misdiagnose it. I know it's hard. I know it's, it's, it's easy accessible. I know you want to compromise, but don't compromise God's promise over your life. That was a word. That was a word. I just caught myself filming my little TikTok slash reel slash YouTube short of me making my brown sugar um, oat milk shaken espresso. Ciao, bye. I'm trying to film on this camera right here because I want the quality to be better. And I think I was out of focus like half the video. I'm like, it's so ridiculous because I filmed in the kitchen so I don't have like a little setup or whatever. I just you know did the best that i could i'm almost positive that it was not in focus for half the video so i might just try it again tomorrow but this is what it looks like mm. oh my god i had a little bit of cold foam left over so i'm gonna put that on top i used brown sugar cinnamon syrup in my cold foam today it's so good and I didn't even stir it yet. Stir it a little bit. It's so good. So good and I'm not saying that because I made it. I am finally about to order my sticker. I completely forgot that I needed to order this darn license plate sticker. I don't even know my pin or the ID number. I told you guys today is Monday. Today is actually the day that Leah has tumbling again. I told you guys about what happened in the last vlog. We are trying to decide if she is going to go to tumbling today. I don't know if she would even feel comfortable. So I have to pick her up in a little bit and then she has tumbling at like 7.30. So I'm gonna have a talk with her once I get in the car and just see if that's even something that she wants to do today or if she even feels comfortable. I saw a couple of you guys ask how she's doing. She's doing so much better. Um, she's still like it's it's been like a little bit sore but she said it feels better obviously than it did when it first happened so she said like when she puts her head back she feels it but other than that like she's perfectly fine she's able to like walk around and stuff she had a, um, a science fair for her honors biology class last week and we went to that and she was saying that when she was reading for the presentation that it was sort of like getting foggy and she said green she's like it was like a little bit green and i know that that is something that happens with concussions but i think since then she's been doing pretty much okay she's been reading like books on her phone she hasn't complained about you know that happening again so i'm fingers crossed that all is going well but um yeah so today is the first day that she would have tumbling since the incident happened the doctor said that i should give her at least a week before her trying to attempt to tumble again but i think that we should give it like two weeks just to be safe because i don't know just like yesterday she was saying that it's still like whenever she puts her head back she can still feel the soreness and i just feel like she might be a little bit 
afraid if she still feels a little bit of pain um, if she tries to go and tumble because she hasn't tumbled since it happened so with that said she has tumbling tonight and i was supposed to cook i was gonna make salmon bowls but i think i just really want chipotle like i have a taste i have a taste for a burrito bowl from chipotle so maybe we'll have chipotle for dinner tonight i just don't feel like i don't feel like cooking and I don't really feel like doing much of anything else tonight. I don't think I told y'all, but I completely like revamped my website. I almost feel like I shouldn't have launched it when I did, but then at the same time, I'm like, no, I should have launched it because if you wait until something is perfect, then it's almost like you'll never start, you know? So I'm glad that I did launch it, but I'm like, I completely like changed it up and i'm really loving the direction that i'm going with it and so i've been getting like so many ideas and stuff so before i relaunch it because i already like launched it with like the new layout that i'm doing but before i upload everything else that i'm gonna have on there i have like i have a lot of work to do and i'm waiting on a couple of things to come in and i'm sampling some things and it's just it's a whole process but um I know I get a lot of questions about like products and things like that. So I put, I link everything on there. I'm trying to decide if I want to do like my, link my LTK to, like with my website. So you guys can like shop things on there. Cause I really want to do like, um, the fashion boards. I want to do like spring fashion boards for you guys. I know you, when I did the fall ones, you guys really liked that. So I'm trying to decide like what I want to do with that whole thing because i also want to like incorporate my ltk or like link my ltk for you guys so you can shop there um i have a ton of stuff like that i've been linking on my ltk as far as like you know um clothing pieces furniture things like that so i still have to work on that i have a lot of work that i need to do on that and i really did want to sit down and film my february favorites video but if i don't get to do that today then i will do it tomorrow i'm not gonna worry well actually you know what i could I could do that tonight so i'm probably just gonna eat and then i'll film that and get that edited and uploaded i might upload that on the last day of the month i feel like that would just be probably more make more sense to do that let me look at my to-do list and see if there's anything else that i had to do today was just my day to like deep clean because i didn't get around to doing it yesterday i don't really vlog this weekend but we did celebrate my aunt's birthday this weekend leah milo and i just like hung out um yesterday we went on like a walk around the neighborhood and we were just spending time and i was like at first i was gonna do like all my deep cleaning yesterday but i'm like no i just saved it for today so i had um to deep clean my bathroom that was like much needed so i deep cleaned the bathroom vacuum the whole house finished my laundry film my brown sugar shaken espresso tiktok in real and then i was gonna film an unboxing for tiktok plus finish the vlog create into february photo dump i have already been working on that i got the make salmon bowl for dinner complete website task create post for i for coffee ig i created a instagram account for my like coffee because i feel like i should just separate them since i'm always doing things with like coffee and um making like drinks and stuff i was gonna just do that over on that instagram so if you guys want to follow it there are no posts on there yet but if you guys want to follow me on my um like beverage instagram it's the zen barista kind of dropped that hint earlier but yeah it's the zen barista so you can follow me over there so today i was able to get all of the deep cleaning done which was like the main thing that was on my list i knew it would take up a chunk of my day but i've been up since like six o'clock five five forty five this morning so i was able to get all the cleaning done i was able to do like my reading and i attempted to film my makeup video but that didn't uh, that didn't really pan out how i wanted it to but i'm gonna finish off this vlog tonight because i want to get it edited and uploaded i'm not gonna worry about the things that i can't get done i'm just gonna move them over to tomorrow so um yeah that's pretty much it it's so good y'all i just changed clothes i'm about to go and get leia and i just have on this white tank top shirt from zara honestly i wish i would have bought like three or four of these because they're just so good like they're the perfect tank top shirt um and then i have on these joggers from boohoo i always wear these this jacket i know i'm gonna get questions on it is from zara i got it a few years ago and you guys know how fickle zara <laughs> zara zara is so i have not been able to find a link for it but i will try to find something similar i think i have something similar linked in my amazon storefront so if i find it i'll link it down below and then i'm gonna put on these new balance right here 
these and then i'm just wearing my fly as hell sunglasses and bag so that's my little outfit of the evening i also think that i want to run to target really quick since i'm going to be over there and get um another one of these candles i told you guys about <laughs> this candle before so many times before it's my favorite candle but as you can see i'm like almost out of it so i want to go and grab that from target and then while i'm out there i might as well stop at the bank and deposit money because y'all know the first is coming up rapidly so i'm gonna go and get that taken care of um am i forgetting anything no i think i'm good You see Leia? Look at Leia. Oh, is it Leia? Hi, mom. <laughs> Hi, Hi, buddy. How do you feel? Oh, put your seatbelt on. How do you feel about tumbling today? Yeah. I feel like I. I know I physically can, but I'm wondering if I mentally can. You know. I think you should wait another week. Give your body the time to really heal. By next week, I think you should be ready. Watch your videos back of you tumbling remind yourself of you know all the the good nothing. yeah the good what you love about it all of that and then you watch a few cheer videos and i'll be good yeah that's all i'm vlogging do you want to say hi to the vlog <laughs> pin oh that's so sweet what the audio assistant so if you're blind you can use that we're at the bank making a deposit. We're gonna run to Target really quick, so I just wanna get, Leia's gonna do a challenge today where I'm gonna buy like a bunch of different beverages that she's gonna have to try. Okay, fine. Leia's gonna try all these different beverages and Leia is so picky choosy about everything. So I'm excited to just do this to her where I buy like different drinks. I'm not gonna let her see which ones I buy. And then when we get home, we're gonna put a straw in all of them and then she's gonna try all. Is that how it goes, Leia? Yeah. You try all the different the different drinks? Do you guess what is what or no? Do you want me to? Do you wanna try to guess? Yeah. Okay. I think I know my drinks. I personally think I know my drinks. <laughs> So anyway, we're gonna run a target really quick and then we're gonna we'll go. We'll have the options, right, or no? I just feel like I don't wanna tell you because then you're gonna be like, you just then like, know. yeah, and you like. Cause you, I know my drinks. They're not gonna all be good. Oh, you're gonna be nasty? Like, mom, don't use pickle juice. You know I don't like pickles. Anyway, we'll see you guys once we get to target. <laughs> hey, cool it. Are you trying to decrease your shoes? Is that where you're walking like that? Yeah. <laughs> Would you hold me if I told you we can just run away? So come, my darling. Let me help you. We can well, they didn't see my hairstyle. I have a Lori Harvey hairstyle today. <laughs> Would you say I have a Lori Harvey hairstyle today? <laughs> you look so pretty. <laughs> it's like this and this. That's the best that I could do with my nails on. So okay, the back, don't look at the back. It's cute though. You look cute. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, they don't have they don't have the big one. This isn't the big one. What this oh, I'm good. here for the candle. This they only have one left of the small one. Get this small one, I think. Santal and ginger. Oh, I love this. We're 
we're back home and I want to show you guys what I sort of did with the living room. Um, I wish I would have showed y'all during the day because it <laughs> looks so much better. I had this plant downstairs and I ended up bringing it back upstairs and I have it sitting on top of something so that it can sit a little bit higher. And then I brought my other Monstera upstairs because this gets morning light. Like on this side, we get the morning sunshine and I want these leaves to open up. I feel like I have way more leaves coming in that are more like this. Like these are all good. These are, you know, coming in nicely, but I want like the big slits, like the one in my bedroom so I brought that one upstairs and then this one I'm going to repot because I don't know it's just getting too heavy and so it's a little bit harder to balance it I have poles in there moss poles but it's still it's still too heavy so I need to repot it and create another um, plant so I need to get a new pot also but um yeah anyway so I just have that one sitting over there it's really just like I wanted this area to be where all of my plants are and I might move the real plants over here and leave that one over there but I need another stand so before I can expose that that area actually looks a mess I need to get a new stand but I think it looks so cute and I'm bringing like all these plants in and all the greenery like I swapped out this over here used to have the sticks in it and now I just put like these I was gonna say grass plant like stems in here and it just looks so much better it looks better during the day and i'll show you guys during the day when i can but i always get a lot of questions from you guys about my plants and like um what plants i would recommend if you're looking to start your plant mom or dad journey i highly recommend a snake plant which is why i was walking over here snake plants are so easy and so low maintenance they don't need a ton of sunlight they don't even really need sunlight at all this one i've had for a few years and it's just continuing to flourish so if you are looking to start your plant journey get a snake plant it's so easy <sighs> and low maintenance and you don't have to you don't have to water it or nurture it nearly as much as you do other plants oh yeah that's heavy yeah i get the veggie fajitas um, or the plant-based fajitas. Yeah, this one's mine. Really? I think so. Wait. Can you open that one? It that says, like mine. It says C for chicken on yours. Unless that's a V. And they did like a little curve thing. Because what is that? I think th this is mine. Yeah, because that has chicken. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, anyway, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna do our little challenge. How are we gonna set it up? <laughs> In case anyone cares, I'll show you guys what I got from Target. I got the Everything Bagels because Leah doesn't like these <laughs> and I do. So she likes plain, so I got her plain. I got me the Everything Bagel. And then I've talked about this before on my channel, but if you did not see it, you guys, this spray, this is the spray that I use to clean off like counters and like clean yeah mainly like the counters and stuff they have sprays for like everything they have a glass cleaner they have wood cleaner i always get these from target but the all-purpose one is the one that i use the most i also got some game pods this is what i let leah use because if you let kids use detergent they'll just use a ton of it before you know it you'll be it'll be empty here is the candle they only had the small one so we got some straws Got another thing of cold brew. They need to make these in bigger bottles because I drink this, like I go through this so quickly. Another thing I forgot to show you guys in the grocery haul were these spritz. I didn't realize that it said Jameson on it. I was just reading spritz. I don't drink hard alcohol, so yeah, I don't know how this is gonna be, but I'm gonna try it out anyway. Let me see if I got, have some lime. Mm. 
Wait, it is actually surprisingly good. Wait, why do these look the same? Whatever. But should I also do coffee mixed with green juice? That's disgusting, oh my God. Wait, let me see the comments. <laughs> no ice? I already did ice, dang, I didn't see that. Hold on, I'm trying to read y'all comments. Oh, the box. No, I don't have a box to cover it so, so you can't see the drink. Yeah, cause she's not gonna, she ain't gonna wanna drink it if it's in a cup like this. Wait. <laughs> Put paper towels over and poke a, st poke a straw through so she can't see. Okay, wait, that, that was actually kind of clever. So wait, should I do the, you know what? We're gonna do a little bit of coffee and green juice. That's gonna be disgusting. Y'all think she gonna start cleaning her room now? <laughs> She'll start cleaning her room now. Okay. So put a paper towel, you said, and then put the straw through it. Wait, but that's not gonna, that's not gonna cover it. Hold up. Should I do a bag? Will this live be saved? No. <laughs> I never saved them. You have to at least have her close her, make it nasty. All of them? Should I make all of them nasty? Y'all, I've never done this before, so let, help me out. Wrap it around the glass. Give her hot tomato juice. Hot tomato juice. I don't have none. I'm supposed to get some tomato juice. I don't have none. So this is the coffee and green juice. Okay, okay. so I'm just gonna like wrap it like this and then tuck it. Are all of them supposed to be nasty? Make some good. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's on the charger. I'm gonna put some jalapeno juice and green juice. Oh, poor baby. Wait, I don't want any jalapenos in it though. Oh, even I'm starting to feel bad now. <laughs> Did you see Savannah James and the kids do it? No. Leah told me about it. She, it was her idea. So if you feel bad, just know she's the one who put me up to it. Oh, this is the kombucha. I'm gonna leave the kombucha up there. Green juice and jalapeno juice is wild. Bug! Are you ready? I'm about to have my daughter. We're doing like a drink challenge and I just like did a whole bunch of different concoctions. And for anyone who just got here, I just did a bunch of concoctions and she has to drink them. Mix lime juice in the jalapeno juice. Mix the lime juice, okay, hold on. Hold on, bug. <laughs> I hope she makes it to school. Yes. Leah's about to. <laughs> Le Wait, bug, don't come down yet. Well, how are you coming down the stairs? Not you coming down the stairs blindfolded. I do it all the time. You're not seeing me close my eyes. Okay. You feel bad? Don't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> if you feel bad, don't. Okay, do you wanna, hold on, how do I flip the camera? Go to the chair, babe, right there. I, want, I don't wanna touch this food. <laughs> hold on, let me flip the camera. All right, so I'm just gonna line them up in front of you. Some of them are good, some of them are. Why do you have lime juice at? Lime juice? Oh, cause I added it into my spritz thing. Oh, I was gonna say. It tastes bad. No, babe. Yes, it does. It's more tasty ones than not, okay? If I throw up, I swear. Don't throw up. 
But I throw up easily. I don't have pickles. It's not pickles. Pickle juice. No, that's not pickle juice. Did you swallow this one? What is it? Is it that green juice? It tastes like that nasty green juice <laughs> you gave me. Okay. Somebody said I want to just clean my room. <laughs> She's scared, y'all. <coughs> I missed the cup. No, that's the green juice. <laughs> what is that? What's the that taste like here? Green juice. This is <laughs> okay. Up next. That was disgusting. <laughs> What's that? That's Alani. That's Alani. Yeah. Okay, stop drinking it. <laughs> I need to get that taste away. Okay. Up next. I can smell it. <laughs> Mm, that's good. What is it? I don't know. You like it? I knew these were the bad ones. When you gave me those and then you kept those over there, you didn't even bring them I over. I kept these two. Sweet. Yeah, and this one's good. Oh, okay. What is that? Don't tell me. <laughs> they said, please don't throw. <laughs> okay. I might. Now, on to the last one. jalapeno and green juice this one is this one is uh did you taste this one <laughs> this is a um kombucha and then this is wait what is this green juice um try it come here my little boy try no it. i'm not trying it that's what 
It has one of them has lime juice. That's green juice, jalapeno, and lime juice. I knew it. Oh my god. That one has my tongue burning. Oh, are you gonna keep your room clean now? No. <laughs> okay, look, this one is. It's gone. That's Alani, I think. I mean, no. Taste it. Which one did you say was Alani? Okay, that's Alani. That's Olipop. No, this is Olipop. Oh, okay. And then this, this is coffee with green juice. Wait, this might be Alani. That's coffee and green juice. How did it taste? Nasty. Yeah. You want to try it? No. <laughs> Let me go get my niece for the night. <laughs> Somebody, look, she said, I'm sorry I picked that one, niece. Listen, with coffee, oh my God. <laughs> she said, I done woke up my whole house laughing so loud. Y'all, this, look at it. Wait, y'all look at it. <laughs> Regretting my life choices right now. What'd you say? Regretting my life choices. You know what? We're doing this. You next time. Part two. I am Shelly. <laughs> she said. She said she's regretting her life choices right now. <laughs> Not exactly. Talking about nasty. You want to try it? No. My mouth is burning. The way my stomach, my stomach hurts from laughing so loud. I mean, so hard. Jeez. <laughs> Just childish. And y'all childish too because why y'all tell me to do? Why would y'all tell me which drinks to do? They told you that. <laughs> she said. She said they told you that. Yeah, they told me. They told me which one. You're never happened. seeing me on another yeah. vlog. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this vlog here. If you guys were on my live, then I think I showed me making the little <laughs> drinks. <laughs> I think I showed me making the drinks on my live. I mean, uh. On the vlog but if not then you may have caught it on the live Leah is blue but challenge well done so anyway I'm gonna go ahead and end off the vlog here I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us in this vlog if you made it all the way to the end I appreciate you don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next one bye